This is an unboxing and first impressions video of the Cordobes Boots MTO service boot. Uh, you'll also want to stay tuned to the end because I'll give you details on how you can win a pair of these or similar boots through their MTO process. I wanted to thank my subscribers here and my followers on Instagram for their support during the year, but especially during um, a, a very difficult time for me. And many of you will know what I'm referring to uh, when I received a vile message. Thank you and watch to the end. Welcome to Bootlosophy and my name is Tech. I acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands I live and work on, the Wajit people. I, I, this is a different introduction to my usual unboxing videos, but we'll get there. I wanted to first announce that I'd like to do a giveaway of a pair of Cordobes boots uh, in which you can choose the components for yourself using their MTO system. I'll talk about their MTO system during the video and at the end, I'll tell you how you can win the giveaway. To put this into context, I have been thankful for the support and friendliness I have received from my viewers here and my followers on Instagram during the year. I only started in YouTube in February of 2022 and already I count many of you as pretty close personal friends. But in particular, I was shocked and uh, actually quite shaken. I was shaken when I received a message on Instagram from some guy who wanted me to measure a pair of boots and take photos so that he could size himself. I hadn't read that message over a weekend, but he sent another a couple of days later uh, full of vile and racist and personal abuse because I hadn't responded to his first message within 48 hours. I put a photo of that message up on a community post here on YouTube as well as in an Instagram post and many of you would have seen one of those posts. What really blew me away was that I received over 120 messages of support on the YouTube post and another 130 or so messages of support on Instagram. I wanted to thank you all, so I've arranged to pay Cordobes for a pair of their MTO boots that will go to the winner of a random pick. I'll explain how it works at the end of the video. But for now, let's take a look at these Cordobes Boots MTO Plain Toe Service Boots. So let's open this box. Um, it's covered in, in stickers and for the first time ever, um, it's been x-rayed. Now, I don't wish to offend anybody, but I, I think there is a bit of an issue here with uh, uh, Australian customs where if packages come from uh, South America, they do tend to get some special attention including x-raying look as I say I don't really want to um, offend anyone but I, that's the problem with um, getting packages from overseas oh it's a super tough packaging okay here we go FedEx box and inside is the Cordobes box so let's just put this out here and of course it opens the other way so immediately um, you have what I assume is a spare uh, set of laces. We'll see what's in there. A thank you card from Cordobes team. Thank you. Uh, we are grateful you've put, you've put your trust in us uh, uh, and we placed our long uh, waking hours, our experience and all of our heart in these boots. We hope you wear these boots for years to come. Alfonso Ignacio. Really nice. Uh, boot bag made of a kind of satin material, really nice, no logo, but that's okay. Um, and here they are, mm, my goodness gracious. They look pretty amazing. So those are not spares, they, they, those are the uh, laces for the boots. Make sure there's nothing inside. And I might take them both out get rid of the box and let's take a look at these boots. So I'll, I'll describe these as I go on. As I said, they're, they're MTO boots. Um, and what I ordered was the service boot, 
uh, in their D25 last, which is, I think, a, a, a more almond-shaped last. The other one is a, is a wider circular last. Uh, the leather is uh, chocolate, chocolate-colored leather. Um, uh, if I remember right, the tongue leather is brown, so it doesn't quite match. It's a slightly contrasting leather. I chose all of these features, by the way. Uh, the stitching is matching, so it doesn't stand out. You can order contrast stitching of different colors. The toe structure is unstructured, which um, I don't have a lot of boots with unstructured toes, so I'm, I'm sort of looking forward to these. Uh, the construction is stitched down. You can choose between stitched down and Goodyear welting. I, I wanted a stitch down just, I don't know, just to be different. <laughs> uh, the edge finish is brown, and again, you can get contrasting edging. Uh, and of course, a leather sole. Um, look at that stitching. Gosh, that's good. Okay, so that's the makeup. Let's have a look at what I think. Um, I do like the leather. It's a pull-up. I believe it's from La Farc in, in Mexico. I might be wrong, but um, being a Mexican-made boot, um, I do like that sort of pull-up effect it's got on it. It's a matte brown leather. So it's not a formal boot by any means, um, but it gives you those casual vibes. Hardware is uh, bright brass and antiqued speed hooks, which is interesting. One, two, three, four, five eyelets with one at the top and two antique speed hooks. Uh, they're pressed down securely enough. That's fine. As you can see, it's a semi-gusted tongue. Comes up um, four eyelets. So it gives you a little bit more water protection up to there. And what's more important for me is the tongue's not going to slip to one side, which is always what happens to my boots. Uh, the construction looks solid enough. There's a cross-hatch rubber uh, heel top lift nailed in. Uh, it'll be glued, of course, I mean, with four nails down here, and I assume more nails coming in from the bottom. Uh, leather stacked heel, leather midsole, Good quality one too, by the looks of things. Uh, and the leather sole. Now take a look at the stitching, if the camera focuses. That's really, really fine stitching. You know, I, it's, I think there's a channel, so that the stitch goes in there, really nice. The sole, the leather sole, uh, doesn't feel like it's a waterlock sole, so I will put some Australian Colorlock Oil sole protector on it. It's a very nice looking shape. Has a small leather pull tab, not a loop, but a tab. Very clean looking. Let's check out the other one. See again, the detail on the hardware is very nice. It's not rough. I can run my finger. Oh, that's, that one is a bit rough. But um, on the other boot, it wasn't rough. Yeah, I think the speed hooks might be a little bit more rough because there's a different material. So I guess the speed hooks will scratch it up a little bit, but I don't mind that. It's all patina, isn't it? <laughs> um, the leather feels beautifully supple. It really does. It's beautifully supple. That's going to break in well. And talking about breaking, yep, leather sole. So that will t take a bit of time to flex that in the break-in process. Stitching is very clean, very neat. Uh, single piece back stay, very cleanly stitched onto it. The um, heel counter feels firm. I suspect it's elastic rather than leather at this price point, um, but it feels firm, feels good. And as I said, it's unstructured toes, so there's nothing there. Again, on this um, other boot, the stitching is very fine, slightly off center, but it's a handmade boot. Um, I see nothing wrong with that really. I mean, it, it, it's slightly off center, but you know, I, I say to myself, it's at a certain price point, it's a handmade boot. It's actually aesthetically a lovely looking article. Really nice indeed. Okay, so let's try them on feet. Hi, Editor Tech here. Uh, just before we go on to the on feet vision, I wanted to tell you about Cordobes boots and the way their MTO system works. There's a link to their website below, by the way. 
Uh, Cordoba's handmade boots was founded by Alfonso Ignacio in the small town of San Mateo Atenco in the outskirts of Mexico City. Now apparently, San Mateo Atenco has a history and tradition of skilled artisans who made handmade footwear, but had been underappreciated and certainly poorly paid for their skill. Alfonso started Cordobes to properly appreciate his artisan skills and uh, the great production value of the materials made in San Mateo Atenco. He aimed to make a high quality product with the high level of skill his artisans offered and properly honour the artisans and their families while also producing a unique product. Cordobes offers three types of boots at the moment. Uh, their plain toe boot, uh, which is a service boot, their cat toe boot, and their Chelsea boot. They also offer them in two different ways, on demand with fewer options and made to order or MTO with a full set of options but a longer wait. Using their MTO page on their website, you choose the style of boot, you know, uh, service boot or cap toe boot or Chelsea boot, and then you choose one out of their two lasts, your size and width, the type of outsole you want, the color and finish of the uppers, the type of construction, the edge finishing, the whole nine yards. Sizing, by the way, is recommended to be true to size, but if you're in any doubt, uh, you can always email them. Alfonso, I have found, is incredibly uh, responsive. Okay, so let's get these on feet. Now, I don't know if I said earlier in the video that uh, these are priced at 299 US uh, dollars. And for an MTO boot where you can specify every, ooh, well, it slid in rather well. Um, <laughs> for a, uh, an MTO boot where you um, choose just about almost every element, um, it's very similar to choosing an Indonesian handmade boot. So um, I do find that price of $299 uh, really very interesting. I mean, most Indonesian handmade boots using uh, local Indonesian leathers will sell around $350 US. So these compare favorably, in my opinion. Um, laces are a bit long, but the fit is really good. Um, also, I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier in the video, um, but they recommend true to size. So I'm an 8.5D US sizing, and these are 8.5D. And uh, the fit is really good. Fits like a glove. No hot spots anywhere. Um, the uppers feel nice and supple and soft on my feet. And the laces um, are a little bit long, but you get to live with them, I guess, or I can swap them over. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, they slipped in really easily. Now, I don't do this usually, but I'll, I will cuff my jeans up so you can take a look at the whole boot. Um, comfort factor is really good. The length, where's my toe? There's, there's that much room between my toe and the top of the boot. So that's about the recommended thumb's width. Um, it's quite snug across the ball of the foot, but the leather will stretch from the feel. It's, pretty snug around the heel, which I like because it means you, it captures your heel. Um, I, already I feel a bit slippery, but that's what happens with, with leather soles. You will have to scratch them up a bit. They are extremely comfortable underfoot though. Um, and the, the fit is otherwise good around the waist as well. So, in terms of the feel, uh, I can feel the layers of leather and cork under my feet, and I do like the flexibility of the leather sole. Uh, on the carpet, it's slippery. On timber flooring, not too bad, because I, I think there's a little bit of oil in, in, those, in the leather soles. There's a little bit of heel slip, so that's, that's fine. That's to do with breaking in and making sure that they flex where your feet flex. So that you, you know, you, part of breaking is you train your boots to, uh, to flex and move just as your ankle and your uh, joint does in the ball of the foot. I like them. I do like the look. I do like that last. Oh, you see, I slipped there. Oops, slip. 
um, I do like that last, the shape of the almond toe, with a slight hint of a wedge at the, at the tip. I like it. So, my usual break-in is two weeks wear. These don't feel like they need all two weeks to, to break in, but that's what I'll do. Right, let's sum up. Well, there you go. In summary, uh, I think these are really impressive boots. Of course, as usual, I'll wear them for a few months and then uh, come back to you with a full review. Uh, and then, you know, maybe a year later, a few months, but at least a, 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 at least a few months, I'll come back with a long-term review to see how they went. But before we finish, here's your chance to win an MTO Cordobes handmade boot. All you have to do is first, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Then make an appropriate comment below. No inappropriate or stupid stuff or you will be banned. All you have to comment is even just say hello. But of course, I'd love to hear what you think about these boots. In two weeks time, closing on the 7th of January, Australian time, I will enter all commentators' names into a, a randomizer and choose a winner. I will announce the winner in a YouTube Bootlosophy community post, as well as in an Instagram post under my account. And I will also try to find the original winning comment if I can find it and reply in there. Uh, in the announcement, I'll ask you to contact me either on Instagram or by email. I will give you, once you contact me, a 100% off discount code and you can go to the Cordobes website, choose your boots and all the MTO options using that code on checkout and Cordobes will make you your boots but send the bill to me. Once again, that's to thank you for your support. Uh, if that shocking, disgusting message was the worst, you are the best. Also, of course, I wish you the season's cheers, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And in terms of new videos, I'll be back after the second week in January. I'm just going to take a short break. So before you go, click on like, please. Subscribe if you're not. And type in a comment below for a chance to win a pair of Cordobes boots. Until I see you in the new year, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.